Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about Spirit Halloween, the movie. But before we get into that, remind you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all my socials, all those links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any movies that I should watch this month, I haven't had a set schedule yet, so please let me know what you think I should review in the comments below, and uh, maybe I'll get to it, maybe not. So, um, yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video. So Spirit Halloween is a 2022 film uh, starring Christopher Lloyd as a wealthy landowner who uh, <laughs> suddenly dies on the, the side of an orphanage, basically, uh, or um, what do you call it, wayward, it says wayward kids, so I don't know if that's an orphanage or what, but anyway, it's like a, basically, essentially an orphanage for these kids, he's trying to buy it off this woman, basically, and he tragically dies, um, and then all these some odd years later, um, he comes back to life, uh, his ghost form comes back and haunts a spirit Halloween that these three kids have broken into to spend the eve or Halloween night, um, in, and, uh, yeah, hilarity ensues, ridiculousness. Um, yeah, I, I kind of knew about this movie, I knew about this movie before, but, I kind of knew about this movie a little bit more after I watched the uh, Monster Madness review uh, by Cinemassacre. Um, James was talking about it and how um, funny it is. Um, what I'll say about the movie is that it's very much a kids' movie. <laughs> like you put it on for your kids, like it's there's no, it's not really scary. Um, I don't really. I mean, I made a channel talking about horror movies, but I think I used to not be a horror movie fan I used to not want to watch horror movies um but this is a movie that is in the same vein as some like Halloween Town or like the reboots of Under Wraps or something like that um so not scary at all um more goofy than anything um so yeah these these kids they they go into the Spirit Halloween which perfect marketing by the way because I told Spirit Halloween the movie um, so this ghost, he goes into different animatronics and tries to attack these kids. One, he's a, a big grim reaper that he goes up and it's like nine feet tall and he's like a big teddy bear. And then you get one scene where he's a, um, what do you call it? A fortune teller thing. He's like this, you know, um, Zoltar fortune teller, um, chick and he starts possessing different things. Um, and so this is literally one of those movies. It's literally a movie where, you know, oh, I want to recreate this at my house. Like a big spirit Halloween, the movie, the house. <laughs> you basically buy all the effects in the movie. And um, it would be kind of cool if they did have them. They did have the the movie effects, like the, the different animatronics there, but they had Christopher Lloyd's voice. That would be pretty funny. Because you could, like, recreate it in, like, your own house if you decide to do that. Um... It's it's goofy. It's like um, it's like Disney Channel quality. You know, I mean, they act pretty much like Disney Channel. They think of like a Disney Channel original movie. It's basically like that. <laughs> um, you know, Christopher Lloyd's great. He's you know he's getting up there in age. So um, I think I don't think he wanted to do a bunch of running around. Um, so he did. He does the voice, and you know, it's like it's basically like Doc Brown. You know, just maniacal Doc Brown. Um, fun movie. Um, very, um, very, I would say it goes by pretty quick. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it's something that, um, I, I, I think, I'm surprised it had come out sooner. The Spirit Halloween's been around for a while, so I'm surprised this is the first, first time they tried to capitalize on that. <laughs> we might get other Halloween movies, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, just ridiculous, fun kids movie. Um, not really a whole lot happens. I will say one thing I appreciate about it is that it's really dripping in that fall atmosphere. Like you, op it opens up the movie. Um, we see that the flashback of Christopher Lloyd dying in the movie, um, but then it after that you opens it. You opened up the movie uh, proper by showing your main cast of kids and stuff like that, and it's just dripping in like that fall age. Like it almost reminds me of like an '80s movie. Like you watch like it dripping in that fall atmosphere like it feels like Halloween and I, I really appreciated that so um, that being with that being said with this with this movie um, I recommend it to people who are just looking at something to get their kids into watching scary movies 
Um, you know, it's, I think I think everybody can enjoy it. I think the parents can enjoy it for Christopher Lloyd. I think the kids can enjoy it because, you know, um, you know, because I think the kids can enjoy it because it is somewhat funny, and you do have kids um, as your your main cast. Like these are like middle schoolers because they because they talk about it. it was like, oh yeah, we're going to be in high school next year. So these are like middle school kids, you know, going in to be in high schoolers. So usually you would have high schoolers who are like going into college, and this is what happened to but. That's middle schoolers going to be high schoolers, so a lot more younger. It's focused on a younger crowd, so I think they can appreciate it. Um, yeah, very innocent, very ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I recommend it. if you want to give it a check out. It's free to watch on Tubi, so check it out there. Um, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said at the beginning, if you have any recommendations of movies that I should watch this month. I don't have a set schedule yet, so please let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.